This video is brought to you by Loot Crate. Head today to LootCrate.com slash ReviewTechUSA and enter the code RTU to save 10% on any subscription plan. Skip it up and that up! So here's something that's gonna make you shit in your pants a little bit. I admit that I did, I had to change my underwear when I read it. Enjoy the visual. Most, as in more than half, of those who shop at GameStop have no damn clue they could trade in their games for store credit or cash. More than half. Tony Bartle, GameStop's president, said this, Believe it or not, only 40% of the people who walk into a GameStop store today know that we accept trades of games. He also said that GameStop sees about $1.2 billion in store credit on used games spent in its stores, saying that 70% of that goes to buying new games, which that doesn't surprise me at all, because when you go to bring a game in and you ask, hey, what's the cash value I could get for this? It's like five cents. And then if you ask what's the trade in value, they'll give you like 10 bucks for it. So obviously, Obviously, people are just going to get a trade-in credit and use it towards something else, because if you take cash, they rip you off even more so than they do when you trade in games. It's, it's wonderful. Just let that sink in for a second, though. That shocked me shitless. Only 40% of GameStop's customer base knows you could trade in games for store credit or cash. With how much advertising they do, you would think it would be a hell of a lot higher than that. Even beyond the advertising, when I go into GameStop's around my area, I always see like a soccer mom. Obviously, she's not a hardcore gamer with young kids who they, you know, they're not hard. They're, they probably game a lot, but they're not hardcore gamers who are very aware of what's going on in the industry. They're like nine or 10 years old and she's doing trade-ins for them. Obviously, she knows about them and the, uh, probably the kids don't. Or you'll see like, you know, a woman by herself looking to trade in games that like maybe her husband told her to trade in or maybe she just saw the games around her boyfriend's apartment or house and she's looking to trade in. I see that all the time. Hell, I even see people going in there trading in like ridiculous things like broken controllers or you'll see like a chick like, hi, this is my, my old nipple tassel I had before I married my husband and I used to be a complete slut, but I want to get rid of it now. Can I get some, you know, trade in value for this nipple tassel? I want to use it towards the next Xbox One. Like, I'm exaggerating, obviously, but they, people bring in, like, stuff that, like, you laugh at them when they bring it in. Like, you'll see them bring in a PlayStation 1 and expect GameStop to give them money or credit for it. So, I guess beyond the fact that the whole trade and use game market is very profitable for GameStop, the reason they advertise it so much is that there's a lot of people, surprisingly, that have no idea it exists. This is, like, really shocking news to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, leave your thoughts on this. Are you surprised that only 40% of GameStop's customer base knows that they could trade in their used games and hardware? Or did you expect that a lot of people still don't know they could trade in their games and hardware at GameStop? Make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA. Have a good one. The preceding video was brought to you by Big Cheese's YouTube channel. For gameplay reviews, gaming music, and vlogs, subscribe to Big Cheese VG. Link below in the description.